Hey friends, welcome back to the Guitar Max channel. Okay, so a few years ago, I checked out a beautiful mahogany acoustic guitar from a brand called Orangewood. And one thing that I really liked about it was how easy it was to play compared to other acoustic guitars. It's really the kind of acoustic guitar that an electric player is going to be very comfortable playing. Anyway, so fast forward three years and Orangewood reached out to me again and asked if I could check out one of their new models. I said, of course course, and this time I went with a more traditional spruce top model instead of an all mahogany one. You got to have some variety, right? Okay, so we're going to take a look at this right here. And the cool thing about this is like that other one, this is still really affordable and it includes built-in electronics, includes a built-in tuner, and it comes with this really beautiful heavy-duty gig bag. This has the thick padding and the backpack straps and the whole bit and it just comes with it automatically. Now price wise this guitar goes for around $400. I've seen it on sale for less than that but sometimes you know if you're paying like the full retail price I think that's around $440. So it's definitely going to be in that $400 range. Okay so enough looking at the gig bag. We've got this world's Longest zipper always reminds me of going camping when I open one of these. And let's open this up and pull this out. Look at this. Just look at that. I'll give you guys some close-ups, but it always just blows my mind how much guitar you can get for 400 bucks these days. Now there's something I want to check right off the bat here. Okay, it's not in tune, and that's a good thing. It's flat. Okay, so they've detuned the guitar for shipping, which especially on an acoustic guitar can be really important because a lot of the time you want to keep the tension off the neck during shipping because it's going through these different temperature changes and so forth while it's being shipped. Sometimes I think uh, beginner guitar players, they order a guitar and they're surprised that the guitar is not in tune when it arrives to them. You should really never expect a guitar to be in tune, and sometimes that's even bad if it is in tune. So in a minute here, we're going to use the, the built-in tuner, which is awesome, and we're going to tune this up for the demo. But first, I just want to give you guys some first impressions of this guitar and also go over the specs because I just, I just took this out of the box right now. So at least on paper, the big key features of this guitar, I think, are going to be the top and then the built-in electronics. Now the top, the main thing here is that this is a solid Sitka spruce top. And when we say solid, we mean that it's not laminate. It's not like plywood. So we've got that beautiful spruce top. I'm going to give you guys some nice close-ups of the top here. Then the back and sides is going to be pow ferro. And guys, look at, the, uh, look at the wood grain on that. Now as we're looking at the back here, the other thing that I really want to point out is this neck. I mean, look at that neck. It's a mahogany neck. It's got a really nice dark stain on it. But a big deal for me here is that it has a satin finish on the back of the neck. Now, the guitar body itself is a gloss finish, but they did a satin finish on the back of the neck, which for me is such a big deal. It makes the neck so much smoother and just easy to shift around on. And honestly, it looks beautiful too, especially on this guitar. Now, of course, I love electric guitars, so let's talk about electronics. If you look up on the top here, this has a Fishman Flex Plus T EQ set up here. So you've got EQ controls, and then you also have a built-in tuner, uh, which you activate, let's see, by pressing one of these. Yeah, that one right there. And then you can just tune on the fly. There we go. And there's so many other little touches on this guitar that I really like. I love the binding on the neck going around the headstock and these, these fretboard inlays. It's got gold hardware up here with the tuners, gold and black. That looks really beautiful with the wood colors. And then it's got a 44 millimeter nut up here. That's just slightly thicker than a lot of electric guitar necks. Okay, so I'm gonna finish tuning this up and then we're going to go ahead and get into the demo. And there's actually a lot of other things that I want to talk about spec wise with this guitar. I'm even going to give you guys some interior shots like 
uh, some pictures of the inside of the guitar so you can really see the construction. I'll put those in the video after we do the demo. So for the demo itself, I'm going to give you some natural acoustic sounds and then I'm also going to plug in the guitar and you guys can hear what the direct out sound is like. But real quick guys, as always, if you enjoy videos like this, checking out cool new affordable guitars and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. Okay, so it's a beautiful $400 guitar with a solid spruce top and built-in electronics. Let's listen to how it really sounds. All right, guys, so uh, by the way, did anybody catch that I was using my Dave Minichetti pick? Awesome. Anyway, let's talk about this guitar a little bit more. So overall, guys, the playability of this guitar is excellent. And that's coming from a guitarist who mostly plays electric guitar. At least I certainly do more electric playing than acoustic playing. And despite that, I still really, really like the playability of this guitar. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, a lot of that has to do with the satin finish on the neck. It's a very, very comfortable neck. And it's not too chunky. I mean, you grab it and it's like, yeah, this is an acoustic neck. It doesn't really feel like an electric, but it's close enough to an electric guitar feeling neck where I could switch back and forth between like, you know, an Ibanez neck or something really thin and then play this and I wouldn't feel like I'm totally lost on it. Also guys, I want to mention something with the frets here and I'm going to give you guys some close-ups. But these frets are really finished pretty well and there's something that always bugs me about acoustic guitars and that is that on most acoustics, until you get into the really expensive stuff, the fret finishing, it always ends up seeming like it's sort of an afterthought. And it, it, it is not that way on this guitar. The fret ends are done very nicely. But there have been so many mid-range acoustic guitars that I've played where, you know, they just have, they just sort of chopped the fret ends off and they really didn't finish them very well. 
I guess they're thinking that, well, you know, typically the action is a little bit higher on acoustics and you're not going to be shredding exactly most of the time. So maybe they're thinking that people just aren't really going to notice that the fret ends are not done very well. Um, and that's always bothered me, you know. So to get a guitar like this, which is definitely affordable, you know, 400 bucks in that range. And these are, you know, these are carefully finished fret ends. And I'm just, I'm really glad that they, they went the extra mile on that. Now, another thing I want to mention real quick is that this guitar includes a little stick-on pick guard. This will be in the gig bag when it comes. And so if you want to put this on, you just peel the back off here and then it'll stick on there right below the sound hole. Now, I don't know. I, you know, I'm not a huge fan of that look. It's a little, uh, I don't know, a little old fashioned to me. And I don't mind like scraping up the finish a little bit there. I mean, you know, guitar is meant to be used. And I'm also not like a, you know, kind of um, hippie folk song player where I'm really going to be thrashing on the guitar or something like that. Like, you know, bringing my song to the people, that kind of thing. I'm more the kind of guy that's, you know, gonna serenade you in the dark restaurant or something. But the pick guard is included if you want to use it. And that's really, you know, for me, I've said this before with other guitars, but I guess the thing that really just stands out to me about this guitar is all of the, uh, the sort of extra little touches, like the satin finish on the back of the neck and the binding on the neck and the headstock. The built-in tuner. A built-in tuner is such a big deal to me. I hate headstock tuners. You know, have some big thing that lights up and it's just hanging off the end of your headstock. It's just a visual thing, but that really bugs me. And so having a sort of hidden, very discreet tuner right here in the guitar just lets you... You know, nobody will even know if you're tuning. And last thing, guys, let me go ahead and throw in some pictures that I took uh, from the inside of the body of the guitar here. So you can see how the bracing is on here. It's got a nice X bracing there. Again, guys, this guitar only costs about 400 bucks, including the built-in electronics and the nice gig bag. So yeah, pretty nice stuff. Okay, guys, so that is the Orangewood Mason Live. As usual, I'm gonna have a link for this guitar down in the video description below. And guys, if there's anybody out there who owns another one of the uh, orange wood acoustics, I would love to hear what your ownership experience has been like. Which model do you have and how do you like it? Okay, guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.